morning, everybody. Seven, eight. Stocks go up. Stocks go down. If you learn how to manage your account, you're sitting back right now saying, this is cool. I got huge opportunities. Huge opportunities to make a ton of money. And you do. Right? Because you banked. We tell you every day, you look at your account, wherever you are, beginning of the week, whenever, you look at it and say, I have 50 grand. And you go buy some positions. And you say, I have 45 grand cash. The world can go to shit and you cannot be have less than 45 grand cash. Because it's cash. If you're okay with that, you're great. Let's say you started with 50 grand. You bought a bunch of stuff Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, sold a bunch of stuff Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You have 70 grand cash. And you have another 10 grand in positions. And although 10 grand in those positions are going to be zero, you have 70K cash. You started with 50. You have 70K cash. You are positive. That's trading 101. And then we see and then we see. Okay, today, SPX had a 10-point pop. It just cratered, okay? Let things go down. Unless you get a 25-point SPX pop, it's not real. Now, here's two things that are going to happen, absolutely going to happen. Amazon is way down. It's at 3630. You're going to get a 25-point pop in Amazon. You're going to get a 20-point pop in Google. You're going to get a 5-point pop in Facebook. You're going to get a 10-point pop in Roku. And you're probably going to get a 30-point pop in Shop within the first five minutes. And then you have to determine if the pop holds or goes back down. If they revisit the lows and break, they're going to go lower all day and probably into tomorrow. You always get the pop, but is the pop real? Most of the time on days like this, they're not real. They go lower. They go lower, okay? So interesting, interesting, interesting. Then we see, then we see, then we see, okay? SPX down, what, 65 that puts it at 42.95. You got 42.71 and 42.50. Then we see and then we see. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Lower, let it go lower. LRCX. This was showing 580 when I got up. Let it drop. They're not buying semis. They think there's a problem. And here's what I think they think. I think that they think that China is going to start something really bad within the next two to three months, and all the semiconductors, they're going to stop shipping semiconductors. That's the thesis. Not my thesis. This is just the market's thesis. And if that happens, Micron's at 50, NVIDIA's at 500, LAM Research is at 400, and there's a monster issue with all this stuff. Outside of that, outside of a China issue, these things all should be way higher. Land research should be 700, 800. Micron should be 120. But they think something is going to happen in the future that's not good. So they're selling. Them. So you have to just chill and wait, chill and wait. Okay? Now, can it happen? Who knows what could happen? If China starts something with Taiwan, Taiwan spikes back, and the U.S. goes in there, it's World War, they're going to stop all this stuff. And then all these clowns telling you on TV, Baba is great, their valuation is great. Baba, go, Baba will be sub $50 faster than you can ever imagine. It'll be sub $50. Why? Because if they get booted off the U.S. exchange, I'm telling you, they're, they're, these people sending me messages that just aggravate the shit out of me, okay? Sam, I, I, I'm a professional trader. Yeah, you're a professional trader. Very nice. Why are you talking to me then? You're, you're prof These are just Twitter people. I'm a professional trader. Think about this, Omen. You, we'll, we'll see. Omen's a professional trader, too. 
let's say Omid has 50,000 shares of Baba. He has the share, 50,000 shares, right? Worth what, 10 million, 20 million, whatever it's worth, okay? And the U.S. says, we are halting trading in Baba. This guy tells me, he goes, I can sell my Baba shares tomorrow on, the, on a different exchange. No, you can't. No, you can't. He's like, I, I say, you're not a professional trader either. You're a professional, you know, who knows if you're a garbage man or whatever. You know how long it takes to transfer to transfer money from Fidelity to Think or Swim takes you two weeks. To transfer positions from Fidelity to Ameritrade takes you two weeks. How are you going to tra transfer shares from Fidelity to Taiwan? Really? You really think you can trade it the next day? Don't think this. And everybody, if somebody were to say, hey, we're going we're gonna to halt trading as of tomorrow, do you think anybody's going to say, well, I'm, I'm going to just sit on it, and they're going to let their money just sit? You guys don't understand this stuff. Stuff you need to understand. Everybody has money in banks. Your money in banks is insured. What, what, how long do you think if... If, if let's say Chase were to go bankrupt, how long do you think before you get your money back from Chase, the insured part? You get it back in a day, a week? You don't get it back for two years. Yeah, it's insured, but you won't see it for two years. Don't think. Think simply. Think simply. They, they won't be able to sell Baba. What they'll be forced to do is sell other stuff. Exactly. Exactly. So, so just know this. Nicholas is telling the FDIC insurance has, a, has up to 10 years to pay you. 10 years. What are you going to do? So what's going to happen if somebody, if, if, if they say we're going to delist all China companies? Bob is going to go down 100 points in five minutes. Everybody's going to sell them and run for the bank. Baidu is going to be sub 30 bucks. Didi is going to be 10 cents. Okay? So just know this. This is how the market works. LRCX, 581, 562. Needs 32 to be better. NVIDIA, 781, 772. If it gets to 772, we're going to look at next week's 800s at four bucks. It would have to be 772. Shop. This thing is down 100 points from yesterday. Watch the pop. This is going to pop 30. It pops 30 every single time on a day like this. And then lots of times it goes back down. It goes back down. Okay? Interesting, interesting. Then we see, then we see. Baba. It may hit 200 and sit there all day. And then does it break today or does it break tomorrow? Think about it. We, we, we told you. When Zai comes out and says, we're going to bloody your nose, you're going to go buy a China stock? Really? If you have, the, if you have Baba and Baidu puts, your, your account is going to go positive today. It's going to go positive today. Interesting, right? We are sitting on so many of these 20250s. They, they absolutely can go to 12 bucks, may go to 20 bucks if it completely collapses. If the market goes down 150 handles, this isn't going to go to 20 bucks. Snowman, watch to see if it goes positive. Very interesting. Roku, 388 beast on the downside, 452 on the upside. Big C, see if it holds here and goes positive 70. It has news. It's better. Bitcoin working lower, working lower, let it collapse. AMC just broke 40. This looks like 31. 31 is a beast number. Under 31 is 19 and 16. GME, 151 is a beast number. 172, hard. Amazon, 3572 is a beast number on the downside. Needs 3700 to be better. Apple. I love Apple to the upside still. Has no impact on all this stuff. 
then we see, and then we see. What may be the first one to go positive. Underneath 140 is bad. Would probably sell next week's and add another week. Facebook. 341, 336. I actually like Facebook for earnings. We're going to go find the earnings date and we'll keep an eye on it. Googleicious. It's probably going to pop to 2,500 back, and then we see, and then we see if it drops right back down. Tesla. Now, this one, on days like this, is a, a typical Tesla reversal days. See if it goes positive. Then we see, and then we see. Okay? Stocks go up. Stocks go down. To be a great trader, you look at the cash in your account. The cash. Because you could wake up tomorrow and this could be down another 500 SPX. Maybe the world collapses. Who knows? Your cash is your only thing. You sell stuff and you roll up. If you made 100 points on Amazon and you're down 10 points, you don't care. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is how you become great. This is how you become great. Okay? Uh, if they raise rates, housing blows off and we go way lower. Who knows? Who, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't really care. I, I am day to day, week to week. That's how we play. That's how we play. And the last four weeks, we've banked so much you can't even imagine. So go slow. Grow your account. Play with profits. And you can't get hurt. Don't get hurt. How do you get hurt on Apple if you had the 140s at 67 cents? They're still going to be two bucks at open. And you had the 145 next week's at 26 cents, they're two bucks. How do you get hurt? You can't get hurt unless you have no clue on how to trade. Take profits, roll up, chill. Don't think you can go buy Amazon. This week, so next week's right at the open. You're going to get a pop, but you don't know if it's going to drop back. And if it drops back, things will go way, way, way lower. So chill and see, chill and see. SPX, down 63.65. It needs to be down 40. If SPX is down 40, we will buy calls for Friday. Everybody have a great training day. See you.